All right, hi, Gemini. This is going to be your reading. This is for Gemini placements, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Take what resonates and leave the rest. Be sure to flip and switch the roles and pick which side of the story you're on. Gemini's. So what do Gemini placements, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus need to know right now? So we have pressure cooker, rage, ready to explode. So I don't know if this is you, Gemini. This is someone in your energy who could be upset. Some of y'all could be dealing with a twin flame. There could be a lot of gossip around a connection. There could be people around you that are jealous of a connection that you have with somebody. It doesn't have to be twin flame. It could be like a just a, you know, a really strong connection. I try not to get too caught up in titles, but <clears throat> for those of you who do believe in twin flames, you could have a twin flame connection here. What else? Assets granted, social media, fake profile, and hiding. So somebody here could be getting upset because of something that they're seeing on your social media. Or this is you getting upset. Pick which side of this you're on. Somebody could be watching somebody from fake pages. Mm. What else? Grip wanted to come out. Anchor chains way down. What else for Gemini placements? Yeah, soulmate and twin flames. So some y'all, there's something going on surrounding your love life. Similar friendship, romantic partner. Yeah. Mm. Some y'all could have met this person on social media. Or somebody online, a dating app or whatever. For others of you, this could be somebody that you met like in school. You could have grown up together. Could have met somebody while traveling. But I feel like there's a lot of talk about your love life for some reason. Somebody's getting upset. Something is, is somebody's getting triggered by what they're seeing online on somebody's social media. What's pressure cooker? Rage, ready to explode. Yeah, five of wands. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> the world, which is the world wide web, social media, dating apps, online, plat online platforms. Uh, Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, Taurus energy. You could be dealing with any one of those signs or have any one of those signs or energies um, in your chart or this person does. Five of Wands in reverse. Yeah, Saturn and Leo. Somebody is, is something about somebody's social media that is upsetting somebody. What's pressure cooker? Yeah, Ten of Swords, Gemini, Sun energy. When I say Gemini Sun energy, I'm just calling out the placements and signs of the cards. This doesn't mean this is you. It could be someone else of a different sign in this energy, by the way. Uh, Mars and Gemini here with the Nine of Swords here. Somebody is stressed out. Somebody is stressed out. Somebody's worried about who you're having sex with or who you're going to be having sex with. Uh, the world here with the Five of Wands in the race. Yeah, two of swords, moon and Libra. Somebody here could even be wanting to get off social media because of what they're seeing on your page or this is you. But for some of y'all, this person could have undervalued you. Six of pentacles in reverse. They didn't really value you. They could have breadcrumbed you. There, again, the judgment in reverse. There's a lot of false accusations and a lot of malicious gossip surrounding your love life or your social media presence. I don't know why. People could be making shit. They don't really have. They don't really have anything to go off on, so they're just making shit up. You could be arguing with people online on social media. A lot of y'all need to be Ray Charles to the bullshit. Somebody could be trying to trigger you, or they're being triggered. Somebody here needs to ignore it. Something that something needs to be ignored. I don't know if somebody's going to try to post something on social media, have somebody do something on your platform or whatever, but you need to ignore it. Somebody don't know how they feel about something or how they feel about you. Two of swords, or this is you. 
Yeah, the sun here. Something could be getting exposed on social media. Leo energy. You or someone can have Leo in their chart. Some of you guys may have a big decision to make if you want to close out a cycle. Make peace and amends with something within. The two of swords and the five of wands in reverse. A lot of y'all could be having a lot of internal or conflict about a decision. And you may have to make this decision in Leo season. Heavy Leo energy here. What's the sun here? Yeah, four of cups. Somebody's not too happy or enthused about what they're seeing. Something that is being exposed. You, yeah, four of cups, moon and cancer. Somebody's in their feelings. Queen of cups in reverse. The seven of pentacles in reverse. Somebody's feeling frustrated. Oh, you know, somebody's really in their feelings. Man or woman. Don't get caught up in the gender of the cards, queen or king. It could be, the, you know, we all have masculine and feminine aspects, so. But four of cups here. Moon and Cancer. Somebody's, with the with the moon and Libra, with the two of swords here and the moon and Cancer and the sun, somebody's emotions and feelings are being very uh, apparent. It's coming out. Something can't, something about some how somebody is feeling about a situation or about someone or whatever. It can't be hidden no more. Some of y'all have two-faced people around y'all. Two fake ass, two-faced friends who were jealous or envious or whatever this is. Somebody could be feeling rejected or getting rejected. But somebody's not happy about something. What's this four of cups? Three of wands in reverse. Aries, sun energy. So you or someone can have Aries in their chart. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Energy could be Aries here as well. April, Aries, April, Taurus. Ten of Wands. Somebody is burdened and weighed down. Somebody feels really insecure. This person could be really codependent on your energy, whether they show that to you or not. But somebody's in their feelings. Somebody's getting frustrated. They feel stuck. They feel trapped. But I don't really see nobody doing anything. Somebody feels like they can't really do anything about it. That's the thing. Because they really shouldn't be on your page anyway. Some of y'all, for some of you guys, this person's already with somebody. So they're not supposed to be on your page anyway. This person could be dealing with somebody else walking around moody. And this other person is like, damn, what the fuck is going on? But really, it's because they're on your page when they shouldn't be. Some of y'all don't even know that. Y'all don't even know or wouldn't even think. This could be somebody that you haven't even dealt with or spoken to in a while. You'll be surprised. Yeah, somebody here could have been a cheater or they were just not loyal, not really committed to something. Somebody here is being selfish. For some of you guys, you could be seeing something. You could be realizing that somebody is being selfish. They could be rejecting you to, I guess, do what they want. Or, But somebody here could be feeling ignored. Three of Wands in reverse. Somebody could want to return, but they don't know if you're going to reject them. You seem happy on your own, Gemini, or without them. Ten of Swords. Somebody's overthinking something. Yeah, King of Cups, somebody's in their feelings. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, they can have in their chart somewhere. Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Somebody here could also be a Libra, October, Libra, October, Scorpio. Somebody's overthinking or in their feelings. Somebody could be having a lot of emotional outbursts. Cancer, Pisces here, the Chariot, Cancerian energy. But I feel like somebody's trying to, somebody is, is doing a good job at hiding their feelings. But they're about to lash out. That's why this pressure cooker, rage, ready to explode. Somebody is like this close. To flipping their lid. <laughs> I don't know what this got to do with you. King of Cups, who's this? Yeah, Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like somebody could... This person could be worried. Somebody wants to return. Gemini. This person could have friend-zoned you or you friend-zoned them or they didn't see your value. They could have left you out in the cold. They could have been really nasty and shit to you. They could have went back to somebody from their past. They hated there. They're not happy. And some of y'all could be getting a new offer. Some of y'all could have to... Y'all can have legalities here with a, a parental figure, a, a supervisor, a boss, a manager... Or someone that you could have kids with for some of you. But somebody wants to return. 
Yeah, there could be somebody, there could be an offer that somebody could be procrastinating on something due to their finances. Somebody wants to delay you getting an offer. They want you to be so emotionally closed off to love that you don't trust nobody. They want you to be so mean, cold with that Queen of Cups in reverse, the Queen of Swords upright. They want you to be so closed off and so stuck on the past that you don't take an offer from whoever this King of Cups is. Something that's solid. Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, the chariot in reverse. Cancerian energy blockages. Somebody's trying to create roadblocks. Somebody could feel lost without someone or they just feeling, what's this chariot here in reverse? Cancerian energy. Yes, six of cups in reverse. Somebody could still be stuck on you, Gemini. Scorpio, heavy Scorpio energy. Heavy Scorpio. You or somebody can have Scorpio in their chart. And this could be this person's karma. Because they could have sat there and they didn't really, probably didn't really take you serious. They probably treated you some type of way. They could have went towards something else. And, it's, you know, for, for some of y'all, somebody's karma is to be stuck on you forever or for a very long time. No matter who they with. Whether that person got more than you, look better than you, whatever, whatever. It don't matter. Six of Cups in reverse. Somebody here can't let go. Somebody can't get over the past. Six of Cups in reverse. Yeah, Ace of Swords, the truth. Yeah, and some of y'all have some fake-ass friends. Three of Cups in reverse, Mercury and Cancer. This is your person. Some, some of y'all got some fake-ass friends. There's a lot of malicious gossip surrounding your love life. Or a third party is, could be trying to hold on to somebody. Yeah, Nine of Wands in reverse. Somebody could have treated you like a Nine of Wands. They could have just wanted to have to be friends with benefits or whatever this is. Y'all could have grown up with this person. You knew them for a while. Oh, some of y'all got kids with them. Yeah, truth, clarity. Somebody from your past wants a new start. So somebody, and it's Mercury retrograde right now, Gemini. So just be careful. Just be careful with that. What's the three of wands in the guys? Yeah, page of pentacles in reverse. Some y'all gonna some y'all are gonna reject this person or you're gonna friend zone them. Or they friend zone you. Eight of cups in reverse, somebody wants to come back. But I don't really see them opening up too much emotionally. They're still gonna be stingy, they're still gonna be penny pinching, they're still gonna be selfish. I feel like this person just wants to control you and or they could just wanna have sex or something. But Page of Pentacles in reverse. This can also be somebody doing a black magic to delay or stall an offer from coming towards you. Whether new or you reconciling with somebody that's actually good for you. Some of y'all have a choice between a twin flame and a soulmate. What's access granted? Fake social media profile hiding. Yeah, the emperor, you're the fucking empress. This could be somebody's child's mother. If you got kids with somebody, they have another baby mother. This could be their baby mother watching you from fake pages, or they got people for page of swords. Somebody is watching you, or you're this empress, Taurus, Libra energy. You can have Taurus or Libra in your chart. Heavy Libra. Somebody here is watching you heavily. What's assets granted? Yeah, nine of wands. Somebody, Gemini's, November Scorpio, November Sagittarius here. Somebody, I don't know if this, yeah, nine of swords in reverse. May Taurus, May Gemini, nine of pentacles. Somebody's worried about you being in this nine of pentacles energy. They're worried about you being self-sufficient, a boss, self-made, or even if you work for a company or work for a job, they're worried, you know, your success your accomplishments, you just being independent and self-sufficient and bother somebody. They don't want, yeah, they don't want you to be, they don't want you, somebody doesn't want you to feel good about yourself. Somebody's worried about you feeling good about yourself, Gemini. Somebody here could, somebody's a fake ass bully or somebody could have missed an opportunity with you because they could have went back to somebody. Now they're stuck there. Somebody could be faking their happiness and a connection. Somebody also has no type of foresight. Some y'all can all, somebody here could also be procrastinating on something. They could be procrastinating on things with your children because of whatever mess that they're in. For some of you, if you have kids or whatever, and if not, this could be something about um, somebody procrastinating on, you know, just giving an offer to somebody. 
because of gossip or because of maybe a bad experience from their past that they have to clear out before they miss an opportunity. What's the Empress? Yeah, the High Priestess in reverse. Somebody here could be having a lot of emotional outbursts or moody because they are pregnant. What, they want you to know that or something? I just feel like somebody's a loser. <laughs> like, okay, and who cares? Somebody's trying to trigger you. They're trying to upset you. High Priestess in reverse. Cancer Pisces energy you can have in your chart. What's this High Priestess in reverse? Yeah, I'm telling you, Nine of Swords, Mars and Gemini, and the Nine of Pentacles. Somebody could be worried. Somebody is worried about you knowing something or saying something to High Priestess in reverse. They want you to be quiet, be hidden, and you're not. You're popping out or you're being seen. You're, people are seeing you as an empress. I don't know why that's worrying somebody. Somebody shouldn't even be on your fucking page anyway. Nine of Swords, some of y'all have abundance coming in. You have money coming in. It's something about your, I don't know if you guys make content, you could be getting more views, more subscribers, more attention, more opportunities, a raise or promote. I don't know what somebody is seeing on your social media, but it's triggering them. Nine of Swords, Nine of Pentacles. This could be a family, a friend, whoever, eight of, eight of Wands in reverse. Somebody here could be in that High Priestess in reverse. Somebody is trying to project negative energy onto your, like, your platforms. Your pictures, all types of shit. Mercury and Sag with the Eight of Wands in reverse. Somebody's trying to cause delays for your finances, your love life, whatever it is. And they could be doing shit around these moon cycles. Somebody could be trying to come in and start an argument with you. This, what's this Eight of Wands in reverse? Yeah, Eight of Cups in reverse. I'm telling you, Gemini. Saturn and Pisces. Yeah, somebody feels left out in the cold by you, abandoned by you. It's like, how dare you be happy without me? Without, like, what? How dare you be able to be self-sufficient and abundant without my help or without me being there? It's like, somebody here is weird. Maybe they're used to people who are really codependent or a person who's codependent, but you're not. You know how to take care of yourself. Whether you got kids or not, you know how to take care of yourself. And somebody doesn't like that. Somebody is trying to keep you stuck in the fucking past. They keep trying to trigger some shit. Somebody could be, they want you, they could be, if you guys have been feeling it, some of y'all have been waking up at weird times of the night. If you've been having a hard time sleeping, somebody is projecting that onto you. What's the Knight of Wands? Yeah, Queen of Swords. This could be somebody's ex. Oh, this is a bitter ex of yours. A magician here, Virgo, Gemini. Somebody, yeah. This could be a mother figure that somebody has doing this for them, an aunt, grandmother, whoever, a friend. Gemini, this could be another air sign of Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So this could be a Virgo, September Virgo, September Libra with Sagittarius or Scorpio in their chart. Or well, this is you. Somebody's coming to say something to you. Somebody is faking their happiness with somebody and somebody knows that someone is not happy with them. Yeah, y'all can have a broken family with this person. These could be, and if, again, if you don't have kids, if it's not about that, this could just be family members. This could be a big family secret that's coming out. Or you could be realizing that certain family members are really jealous of you. Queen of Swords. Or friends. The hangman in reverse. Somebody just can't let go. They won't surrender. They can't take an L. Somebody won't stop watching you. And you could have given this person back to someone. You could have just... You could have, you're not even dealing with whoever this person is worried about for a lot of y'all. Hangman, you can have Pisces in your chart. You're dealing with somebody that does. What's the hangman in reverse? Somebody is bitter. There's negative patterns on repeat. Or this person wants you to be, they want you to repeat a negative pattern. Hangman in reverse. Yeah, the moon here. Cancer, heavy cancer on Pisces. Something about the moon cycles for real. Yeah, a lot of y'all are getting attention. You have a partnership coming in. It could be with a Scorpio or someone that has Scorpio in their chart. Or you do. Or whoever's doing this can have Scorpio in their chart. Yeah, a lot of the sun and the moon here like this. Some of y'all, Gemini, y'all could be too. I think a lot of y'all need could need to give social media a break. A lot of y'all could be having a hard time a, a assessing your intuition. 
especially if things are being projected onto you. You could be feeling overly stimulated at this time, Gemini. It could be making you feel moody. Some of y'all can need more self-care. You can need to be like, you can need to get off like social media for a bit. Y'all could be having a hard time with your intuition and tapping in because of that. Something with your crown chakra could be blocked. Something could be feeling a bit uh, hazy within you, foggy, brain fog. What's the moon here? Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Saturn and Taurus. Yeah, somebody's frustrated. Somebody made a bad investment. Somebody could be losing a lot of money or somebody's just frustrated. Somebody here could be, this could be a pregnancy scare as well. I'm getting to. Something is not growing or something is being, somebody was trying to delay something or slow something down for you. They were doing, somebody's doing some shit under these moon cycles. The Queen of Cups in reverse. Somebody feels, a, somebody can have abandonment. Somebody has really bad abandonment issues or wounds. You could be tricked. Somebody can have mommy issues. You're triggering something within somebody. Somebody is just, I, what's this? Um, Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, Ten of Cups in reverse. This could be a family member. You could be seeing 10, 10 on the clock. Ten of Swords, Ten of Cups. This could be a family member, a friend who was like family, or someone that y'all got kids with. Somebody is frustrated. They're bitter. Or whoever else they got kids with, if y'all if you have kids with somebody. Or this could be a sibling, whoever. Somebody is bitter. Somebody could also be reevaluating a family dynamic. Somebody here is in some type of abusive situation. Some type of somebody's not happy. Yeah, somebody could be gaining clarity on something. A lot of y'all could be realizing that you're not happy or you could be focusing more on your happiness, your self-fulfillment, doing more things that make you feel good. So you're not codependent on other people or things. Okay. Somebody here could be into same sex or bi. What's this ten of cups in reverse? Yeah, the star. Somebody could want their family back. Aquarius energy. You or someone can have okay in their charge. Somebody could want to work on their family. That if you again, this could be a family member or someone that you got kids or a child with. They can want to work on things with you, restore something, heal something. This could even be a parent that wants to heal something with you for some of you. Seven of Cups in reverse. Somebody missed an opportunity with you or somebody's really superficial. Somebody's really superficial. Eight of Cups in reverse. Yeah, the King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Could be a cancer. Or this person got cancer in their chart or fire in their chart. The Tower, Aries, Scorpio. Somebody here could be going to jail or getting locked up. Or this person is in some type of, they're always playing victim. This person could be going through a lot of crazy changes in their life. Somebody is restless. Yeah, somebody could be suffering from PTSD as well. Somebody keeps repeating a karmic lesson. Somebody is like... The judgment in reverse. Somebody's not learning something. Somebody is lacking self-awareness. Somebody could be doubting their judgment or doubting their intuition. Somebody here could have really... Somebody, this person could have caused you PTSD or they got PTSD from somewhere. Somebody can't. Somebody doesn't really know how to give or receive love or give or receive, period, because they've been traumatized, whether in their childhood, through a friend, there's, a, you know, a ex-lovers or whatever this is. Somebody's in their head. The Six of Pentacles in reverse is somebody that's undervalued. Some of y'all could have been undervalued at jobs or in in friendships, romantic relationships, whatever. Some of y'all could be healing your, uh, your I was going to say generational trauma. I feel like you're, somebody feels like you're exposing them. Something that you're saying this for somebody has like, I'm getting some, I have a, somebody has a bone to, it's like somebody, I have, I hear somebody saying I have a bone to pick with you. Somebody has a bone to pick with you. And you know what? I feel like there's a third, there's another, there's a third party here, but they're not, somebody is throwing a rock and hiding their hands. They're sending whoever, for some of y'all, whoever y'all have a child with or you, whoever your ex is or, or whoever your ex love or whatever, they're sending someone to you to get something from you through this somebody's being used 
to do something to you or to get or for or whatever. Two kings are here, king of cups and king of wands. Somebody can have water and fire in their chart, or these could be two different people. One could be a soulmate, one could be a twin flame. What's the star? The queen of wands in reverse. Pisces here. Somebody could be a March Pisces, March Aries. So there could be a family secret coming. Somebody in your family could have betrayed you, Gemini. Somebody could have been disloyal to you. This person could be turning their back on a, they could be, they could have found something out about this. Because now we have a pair here. The king and queen of wands. So this could be a karmic relate, a karmic couple. Somebody here, this king of wands could be, because the, the ten of cups in reverse could be like domestic violence. So somebody here could be getting abused because the queen of wands in reverse is really overbearing. They're pushy. They're really dramatic. They're extremely competitive. They're really promiscuous. They have a lot of, uh, they're, you know, in the high priestess in reverse, somebody has a lot of sexual outbursts. This person could be, this person could like be on this king of wands here. Or this king of wands is beating on this queen of wands. Or they both do that to each other. I don't know. But somebody's in something really abusive and toxic and karmic. For, and then for others of you, if it's not that, because we do have the king of cups upright, but the queen of cups in reverse. King of wands upright, queen of wands in reverse. These could be different aspects of yourself, Gemini. We got the hero font, which is the male counterpart to the high priestess. Right? And we have the sun and moon out here. The empress is out here. But the the emperor is not there could be an imbalance in your masculine and feminine energies so there could be something emotionally going on within you that you can need to work through because it's showing up for my woman is showing up in the men that you're either investing in or attracting or showing up in how you do things for my men it's showing up in how you navigate and how you operate and how you like actively do things so that could be something that you guys could want to work on too. Queen of Wands in reverse. This person could also do black magic spell work. Queen of Wands in reverse. Yeah, judgment. This person, somebody's malicious. Somebody's like uh, falsely accusing you of stuff. Whatever this per this per is like this person was falsely. This person is just this this King of Wands is not even seeing with this this Queen of Wands in reverse is doing. They so this this King of Wands. With this is so with this eight of cups in reverse, they're so bitter. They're holding a grudge against you that they don't even see with this queen of wands in reverse that they're laying up with whoever they live with or whoever else they got kids with is doing some shit to them and to you. This this person is being used, but basically they're an agent of chaos or an agent of something. Somebody's not judging this queen of wands. Somebody could be misjudging you, or they're not judging. Somebody's judging you wrongly and judging somebody else. Somebody's ju somebody's judgment is off. Somebody lacks awareness. Is it, I mean with the with the with the star here, somebody's per who this person is is like exposed. But with the King of Wands facing, you know, with their back turn, this person doesn't even want to deal with this Queen of Wands in reverse or these other people or this gossip or whatever this is. They're just so obsessed with you and what you're posting on social media and you just living your fucking life. They don't even care what this bitch is doing over here to them or even to you. They're so upstairs holding a grudge and he got his fist all balled up and this chick be beating on him, cheating on him, fucking his friends or or they are sleeping around or these these are these whores that they, he don't even care about that. He's this person, whoever this king of wands is, they're just so focused on you getting back at you. Because they're on your social media when they shouldn't even, when they don't even need to be. They're not even supposed to be for some a lot of y'all. What's the soulmate here? Similar friendship, romantic partner. What's soulmate? Like hermit in reverse, Virgo energy. Somebody can have Virgo in their chart. Somebody's not doing the inner work. They're not doing the shadow work. Somebody feels isolated, really recluse. Somebody here is paranoid. What's soulmate? Yeah, six of swords. A lot of y'all are moving away from this person or from somebody. Mercury and Aquarius. Some of y'all are coming out of hermit mode, okay? You got some, somebody here could be moving. What's the hermit in reverse? Who's this king of wands real quick? 
This person got a big ego. They're also really insecure. Something could be going on with their finances. They could be penny pinching. What's this King of Wands? Yeah, the Emperor. A heavy Aries here. This person can have Aries in their chart. This could be a boss, a supervisor who's on your social media when they don't fucking need to be. You could have blocked all your co-workers and this person still found a way to be on your fucking social media like a weirdo for some of y'all. This could be a co-worker, a boss, a manager, or this could be a, a parental figure. Some of y'all got a child with this person. They can have Aries in their chart or they just have that energy. Aries is here heavy. Or they just got that energy about them or somewhere in their chart. Or highly aspected or this is you somebody wants to take action now they can even want to take you to court or they, they somebody just wants to burden you and this and something is not going to go if this person takes you to court for something gemini is not going to go in their favor so i don't even know why i don't even know this person just wants you to miss out on shit they could be in a karmic if they, they're in a relationship that they're in just for the image and not they can't stand whoever they're with they can't stand each other and they want us, this couple wants to bother you. They don't want you to fucking be at peace. Yeah, somebody's way down in burden. What's this hermit in reverse? This person is so obsessed with you. They don't even see that this third party, the things that this third party is accusing you of is the things that this bitch is doing. Or or the things that you, this whoever this masculine is, accused, is, is accusing you of is what this other person is doing. Man or woman is crazy. Somebody is completely in denial. I don't know if it's spell work. I don't know if this person, they just, they're so focused on hating you. And it's really because they're still in love with you. They, that's what it really is. They want to start over, but they don't know if you're going to reject them. Or they could have rejected you. But they're mad because what, you didn't chase them or something? What's the hermit in reverse? Some of y'all, somebody's mad you didn't chase them when they rejected you. Or when they chose somebody else over you. Page of swords in reverse. So yeah, somebody's gossiping. Somebody's really paranoid looking over there. You have a friend here. It could be a Virgo they got, or a Leo. They got that in their chart. It could be a Capricorn or a Sag. There, somebody could be gossiping about your secrets or telling your business or lying. A lot of malicious and false gossip, false accusations. Somebody could be making some really serious false accusations about you, about your reputation. And that's crazy. Page of Swords in reverse. This could even be an ex of yours for some of y'all, man or woman. Somebody's bitter. Ace of Wands in reverse. Yeah, somebody could be evil lying shit. Yeah, this could be something about what you do for work. People who, who people at your place of work who are spreading rumors or, or lies and shit. Who are just jealous. Yeah. Some of you guys were contracted to do something with somebody. Some of y'all do have a. Some of y'all are gonna have to choose your your high level soulmate because there's four wands in reverse. Your twin flame could be out of alignment with you. You some y'all could be getting a new contract, and you're gonna. Some y'all could be going into um a new work contract, a new business that's gonna bring you from the three of pentacles to the ten, the ace of pentacles, three of pentacles to the ten of pentacles. Your money's gonna be looking really good, Gemini, and somebody knows this. Y'all could be in this King of Wands Emperor energy. Make sure you're not make sure you're not harshly judging yourselves, being too hard or too critiquing yourselves too much or too harshly. There could be some of y'all could be holding a grudge. You could need, you could be having a, you could be holding on to resentment. Okay, so be mindful of that because that will eat away at you. Somebody here could be feeling tired and fatigued because they're angry or holding on to stuff. That shit can that shit has a way of weighing you down. Ace of Wands in reverse. Five of Pentacles. Somebody here could be sick. Somebody here could need to go see a doctor. They can have something. I don't know. Somebody accused you of giving them something. It was whoever they was dealing with. It wasn't you. Somebody's just being malicious. Mercury and Taurus here with this Five of Pentacles. What's the Five of Pentacles? Seven of Wands in reverse. Somebody's mad because they feel, I guess, blocked. Out of, somebody could be feeling really defensive. Somebody, something backfired. Somebody feels defeated. I don't know what somebody was trying to do to you, but somebody, if they were trying to fuck with your money, so, so it's like they something backfired really bad. You have an offer coming towards you, but make sure your heart is open for it. Make sure you're not idolizing anything. Make sure, you know, you're being grounded. You're, you're following your intuition, your inner voice. Some of y'all could need to work on your inner child. Some y'all got some of you guys are having a hard time trusting your intuition. You're having a hard time making decisions. Some of y'all could be feeling really spacey, scattered. Okay. 
what's the seven of wands in reverse? Mars and Leo. Yeah, justice is here. Somebody could be going through something. Somebody here could be uh, trying to steal somebody's identity or use somebody's information for something. Somebody here could have, somebody here is very incriminating. So I don't know if somebody did something that you could be getting justice for. They did something to you. I feel like the worst of something is over. Ten of Wands here, Saturn and Sagittarius, the Justice here, Libra energy. Y'all could be seeing 10, 10, 10. Yeah. Now this person, this person did something impulsive. Now they want to come and be nice. Some of y'all have a commitment coming in. And somebody knows that. They're trying to burden you or whatever the fuck this is. To have your to have your emotions all closed off. To have you somebody wants you to be bitter. Like their asses, because they're miserable. They want you to miss an opportunity when it comes in. So just be mindful that your heart is open. Don't be so mean and some of y'all could be, you know, just a little bit emotionally shut off. And that's what this person wants. Six of swords here. That could be with a few people. Yeah, four pentacles. Capricorn energy. That could be what a few people want. Somebody could be penny pinching. Somebody could be going away for four months, four to five years. Somebody could have four to five years in back pay of child support to pay back. Some of you guys have been abstaining from being intimate with anybody, which has been keeping you at peace. Or is it going to help you move? You, some of y'all are being told to hold back from someone. If this could even be a certain friend. Don't share and tell your business with a particular person. It could be a Virgo, a Libra, Aries here, Pisces, Cancer, any fire sign. Scorpio is here, heavy Leo. Be careful of telling any one of those energies your business. Some of y'all need to keep something close to your chest. Some of somebody could be saving up for a move. What's this for pentacles? Yeah, ten of swords. Everything is fine. Somebody's keeping something in. What's the ten of swords? Ten of swords is here twice. So I don't know if somebody's trying to curse you or uh, ten of swords. Yeah, the death card. Something's over. You can have Scorpio on your chart. You're dealing with somebody that does. What's this death card? Somebody could be getting a life sentence for something. Four swords in reverse. Somebody can have something deadly. You could be seeing 444. Four, four. Because you rejected this person, you probably didn't even have proof that something was a little fishy going on with this person. But you listened to source and you got some, you've escaped something, Gemini. Four swords in reverse because somebody can have something that they can't heal from or come back from. Somebody could even be trying to. Somebody could even be going to jail for spreading something or trying to. Jupiter and Libra with that four swords in reverse. What's this four swords in reverse? Yeah, nine of cups in reverse. Somebody was overindulging. Jupiter and Pisces. Somebody likes to get around a lot. Yeah, somebody can have something. Somebody or they or something. Something is wounded. They want the Ace of Wands in reverse with the Five of Pentacles. Somebody got. Somebody is sick. They're ill. <laughs> nine of cups in reverse. You could be seeing nine, nine, nine. Somebody's gonna have to repeat a lifetime of something because they just, uh, I don't, you know. Yeah, it's it's whoever it's whoever this person is with that gave them something. I don't know how you come into play, or whoever they cheated on you with, or whoever they started dealing with when y'all broke up or whatever. That's who got them into whatever mess this is. For some of you guys, if you get back with somebody, it's like they come in the, they're like the king of wands upright and they put you in the queen of wands in reverse. Like this person is not good for your mood, your image, your energy, not everything. But nine of cups in reverse, somebody is miserable. Something is over. There's no second chances, judgment in reverse. Somebody was, they did, somebody did something out of greed. They were self, somebody here is selfish, they're greedy. What's this uh, six of cups? I mean, nine of cups in reverse. 
the devil here we go i was like where the devil at three of swords in reverse magician the tower yeah seven of swords somebody's trying to escape or get away with something or cover something up or fix something capricorn energy heavy capricorn here somebody could be a december capricorn december sag or you can or they got that in their chart or you do but yeah somebody has addictions they have sex addictions drinking addictions drug addictions whatever this is Something is very karmic. Somebody could have felt, this could be a twin that fell from grace. Some of y'all could be having, or this could even be a soulmate or somebody that even was supposed to just be your friend. And I don't know, somebody self-sabotaged something, but somebody has addictions. They're really, somebody could be obsessed with their, with the, with the sex between y'all. Let's get some self-care. Somebody's really obsessed, like really bad. We got hydrate. Some of y'all could need to drink more water. Okay, number 27. Somebody could be born on the 27th or the age 27. Somebody could be a life path 9, 4, 1, or 11, or 2. Yeah, somebody, some of y'all need to drink more water. You could, some of y'all need, de somebody's definitely dehydrated. We have look for fairies, number 30. Somebody could be the age 30 or life path 3 or born on the 30th or 27th of the month. Mm -hmm. Something is being exposed about this third party. This third party was so obsessed trying to like, lie on you, fuck up your reputation that they exposed themselves. They Somebody got so sloppy. They, they got so arrogant. They got sloppy. This is something is a mess. We got number 45, Sing. So somebody here could be a singer. Somebody could like to sing. Somebody could be born on the ninth. What else? And some, or somebody could be age 45. But we got number four, be still. So some of y'all could need to meditate. You could need to still your mind. There could be a lot of stuff going on. Again, y'all could be, y'all could need to take a break from social media. We got clear your energy field, number 10. Some of y'all could need to clear your energy. Some of y'all need to spend some more time alone. Some of y'all could need a vacation. You could be burnt out. Somebody's really obsessed with you, Gemini. You got a few people obsessed. Friends, old friends, new friends, lovers, old lovers, whatever. But some of y'all can need to be still. Some of y'all can need to sage or smudge yourself, your home, clear out your clear your space, throw some things out. Do something. Y'all need to do, I don't know, clear light a white candle. Some of y'all need to clear your, your energy. Because somebody here, the devil, there's some type of negative attachment or entity that's on you or somebody. Somebody has addiction. Somebody could be old. Somebody likes to overindulge and now they got something that they're going to have to carry around. It, you know, I don't. So just make sure you go to the Dr. Gemini. I feel like y'all going to be fine. But, you know, you just, just in case, especially if somebody's trying to accuse you of something. But um, I feel like y'all are going to be fine. But somebody's really selfish and they're really greedy. And they're a player, too. It's like, how you mad? People are, people are just so crazy. People are crazy. People would be players, whores, liars, cheaters, narcissists. And they want you, and if you, when you don't want to deal with it or tolerate it, they try to bully you or make your life a living hell. And don't let y'all have kids or don't let, don't let it be family. It's like, oh, well, you know, we're family. Oh, we got kids. It's like people are crazy. People are really crazy. But somebody got some really bad addictions. And this could be a soulmate. Or this is somebody that you're familiar with. But I don't know if they're karmic maybe. Or this is a twin flame that fell from grace. Or this could be fake ass friends too. Who Somebody's just never satisfied. Somebody's also only with somebody because of codependency. Somebody's not really happy with somebody. Somebody here could be married, okay, but somebody is not really happy with somebody. And that's their burden to carry. They, you're not carrying that shit with them. That got nothing to do with you. Nobody told them to pick that, choose that, go back or go there or whatever. That's their problem. Nothing to do with you. A absolutely nothing to, that has absolutely nothing to do with you at all. That is not your fucking problem. This is not your problem. It's theirs. Somebody holding a grudge, they're miserable. 
some of y'all could have been betrayed by a friend and it was it, none of this was about you gemini these people or this person is just miserable <laughs> family friend ex whoever baby mother baby daddy whatever sibling whoever these people are miserable some of y'all need to take a salt bath that will help y'all to uh, help y'all out a lot yeah we gotta make an altar some y'all need to make an altar or pray to your altar or something but this is a reading gemini like comment and subscribe and i'll talk to y'all later somebody could be at the altar doing god knows what the fuck what but i feel like somebody's obsessed with an ending you don't want nothing to do with them somebody has been trying to also evade your boundaries spiritually or just in general I feel like somebody here is extremely controlling, really smothering. It could be the third party or who or whoever this or somebody close to you. But there's a third party here. There's a third party. Whoever the third somebody is, is throwing a rock and hiding their hands. And they're using somebody else to do their dirty work. But anyways, this is your reading, Gemini. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.